Do you think that you could lie in bed for 60 days? A group of volunteers do just that as part of our bed rest study. The 24 participants must stay in bed for two months with both feet up and one shoulder always touching the mattress, even while eating, showering and for toilet breaks. But why does this help space research? Studying the impacts of space travel on the body has been at the forefront of exploration ever since we began sending humans to space. Bed rest studies like this are very useful for space research because they introduce similar physiological changes as what happens to the body in microgravity without needing to go to space. We've been running these bed rest studies since 2001. Each round of volunteers has had an additional element added to the study to see if it can combat the negative effects of lying down for that long on human bodies. Previous studies have seen volunteers taking various vitamins or doing an intense exercise routine on a vibrating plate. Most recently, researchers have been looking at the addition of artificial gravity. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. How are our bodies affected by the lack of gravity in space? Astronauts' bodies undergo many changes when gravity no longer influences them in space. After just six months, astronauts can lose bone and muscle density due to the lack of gravity. So far, scientists have found no effective way of stopping the process completely. Exercise helps, which is why astronauts train two hours a day on special fitness machines. On Earth, a similar bone loss is seen in a condition commonly known as osteoporosis, although it happens over a longer period. So, studying the effects on astronauts can be directly applied here on Earth, but it's impractical to send humans to space every time we want to test something. And it would take much longer for scientific breakthrough. Lying in bed with your head just below the horizontal for weeks also results in changes to your bones. By studying bed rest volunteers, scientists can continuously examine their bodies closely and easily. On Earth, we also have a relatively equal fluid distribution across our body, and our cardiovascular system takes care of pumping these fluids to the right places. In space, we no longer have gravity pulling these fluids down, so they shift to the upper part of the body, particularly our heads. It is thought that this fluid redistribution also is causing two-thirds of astronauts to suffer from blurry vision when they spend a longer time in space. Therefore, a logical way to recreate this effect of living without gravity is to hang people upside down. But luckily for the volunteers in the bed rest studies, scientists found that keeping a test subject's head tilted at six degrees works just the same. We don't know how the distribution of fluids hampers astronauts' performance. We need to keep studying the implications of microgravity with future missions to the Moon and Mars in mind. Bedrest again allows us to test the impact on our organs safely and time effectively. And these can be applied to similar conditions experienced by people here on Earth. As well as bedrest studies having direct implications for medical conditions on Earth, such as osteoporosis and muscle loss, they additionally provide an opportunity to test new countermeasures to combat these unwanted changes, which may eventually have applications for patients here on Earth. But let's get back to the study. Not all 24 volunteers were just lying in bed as mentioned earlier. In the two most recent studies, they were divided into three groups. One lay in bed for 60 days without doing any physical exercise. They were then used as a control group to see the effects of lying down for this length of time on the human body on Earth with no external prevention. A second group cycled in bed to replicate the exercise astronauts already do on the International Space Station to see how this combats the physiological changes experienced. The third group cycled or they performed resistive vibration exercises while also being spun on a centrifuge to create an artificial gravity effect. 
The bikes and vibration sledge system are adapted to be used in bed and on a centrifuge device. Volunteers were spun to drive blood towards their feet, with the force of gravity doubled during the ride. The intensity of the centrifugal force is adapted to each person according to their tolerance to hypergravity. The advantage of artificial gravity is that it has the potential of reducing most of the negative effects of weightlessness on the human body in just one go. Astronauts currently spend two hours per day exercising while they're in space. But with this study, scientists hope to understand if adding centrifuge rides to their fitness routine could help further mitigate the negative effects of microgravity. Artificial gravity is promising because it acts on all the human organs at once. If the technological challenges can be overcome, it could become an effective solution for a healthier body during long duration space missions. Additionally, the findings could benefit bedridden people on Earth, expanding the study's benefits beyond space exploration. Regular scans, blood tests, muscle biopsies, backaches and endless questionnaires can be a chore, but the participants are directly contributing to the future of human exploration. Do you think you could still do it? <laughs>